All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to find one if a value exists in a range on another column and or sheet and two how many times that value appears so we have our list of customers here don't sue me this is just for educational purposes walmart target etc there's all this information here is made up it's not real so we have a list of customers we have our list of purchase orders again all this information is made up it's not real we want to find out how many times our customer one which is Walmart shows up in our PO table again in Excel we're just trying to find how many times that value 1001 shows up not only on a different column but also a different sheet to do that we're going to go to page three i'm going to delete the answer we have our list of customers here to make this simple on us you don't have to have them here so to find out how many times a value appears in an in a range on another column and or sheet type in equal count if the range will be the sheet or column we're trying to look at the range we're looking in so we'll go to our PO table get the range of the customers associated with the different purchase orders the criteria will be the customer we're looking for. So we'll do comma, go back to sheet three. We're looking for customer one. We'll close that up with an ending parenthesis and hit enter. Customer one shows up four times on the PO table. And to verify that, I'm going to highlight this range. Go to conditional formatting, highlight cells equal to one zero 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 one. And it shows up exactly four times. So we'll go ahead and do this for the rest of our customers by just dragging this down. Oh, wait, before we drag it down, we need to put some cache symbols here so it knows not to increase the range we're looking at so not every customer shows up do some conditional formatting greater than zero we'll do green we'll go ahead and do a little data sort we're going to sort on the PO count largest to smallest all right i found out while recording this video that excel does not like sorting formulas properly so we, now that we have the proper numbers let's copy it paste the value over here paste the values over the formulas delete that nonsense Yeah, now it works. Huh. The count ifs, count if, is how you find if a value exists and how many times that value appears in that separate column or separate sheet. Thanks for watching. As always, stay healthy, don't die, and catch you in the next video. Oh, and if you have any uh, IT related questions, uh, Comment, let me know, and I'll see what I can do. All right. See ya.